In this video, we're going to um, talk about a weighted average. Um, when we do a, a normal average, you know, say we're going to average three, uh, three numbers, okay? Uh, say we have five and seven and nine. We want to average those. We sum them up and divide by the total number, okay? And in this case, that would give us seven, all right? So um, a weighted average is the same sort of thing, except instead of uh, taking each number, um, you know, you can think of this as uh, a third of my numbers is five, a third is seven, and a third is nine, okay? But what if I have more fives than I have of seven and nine. In other words, let's say I have, um, well, let's just do another example here where I have five and five and seven and nine, okay? If I wanted to average those, I would um, add them up and this time I'm going to divide by four, okay? And uh, what I'll end up with here, I have uh, 26 divided by 4, and that will give me uh, 6 and a half, okay, 6.5. All right, so you see when I um, put in another 5, it lowers my average a little bit, okay? So I've weighted it, I've weighted the average a little bit more toward the 5 end, okay? So um, let's uh, let's uh, look at this. I essentially, when I'm when I'm adding those two fives, I can write this in another way. I can say that's the same thing as saying two times five plus seven plus nine divided by four. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing I did here, except um, this two is the weight that we would call this the weight of the five. The five has a heavier weight than the seven and the nine. The, the weight for the seven and the nine is just one, right? Because I have twice the weight of the five as I have of the, one, of the seven and the nine, okay? So this is a weighted average. Um, and what I divide by is the sum of the weights. Two and one and one is four. Okay. Okay, so let's say I have um, 45 uh, large marbles, 25 medium marbles, and 15 small marbles, okay? And each of these marbles has um, a certain weight, okay? The large marbles will be, um, let's just uh, pick some numbers here. Let's say these ones are five grams and the medium marbles are three grams and the small marbles are two grams. Okay, so I want to know what is the average weight of all of my marbles. Okay, now I could, uh, I could add all of these marbles up and divide by the total, um, add each weight up and divide by the total, but essentially the same thing, just like I was showing before, the same thing as doing that is saying, okay, I have 45 of the 5 gram marbles, so 45 is my weight, 5 grams is the value, okay? Um, this is my, uh, the weight in terms of the, um, the average. Uh, so um, 45 of the 5 grams plus 25 of the 3 grams, the medium marbles, and 
15 of the light marbles, the two gram marbles. Okay, so now I do this and I divide by the total weight. Okay, so instead it's the same thing, it's just an average, but when I have multiples of each value, I can combine those and then that's the weight of that value, okay, in the um, equation for the average. All right, so uh, what I'm dividing this by is my uh, 45 um, plus 25 plus 15, so that gives me 85. All right, and so <clears throat> in the end, my average weight is, I'll do this one on the, uh, on the calculator, we have um, 45 times 5 plus 25 times 3 plus 15 times 2, okay, and um, times 2, okay. And we get um, 330, okay? My calculator right now is uh, in scientific notation. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 2 is 330, all right? I divide this by 85, and that gives me an average weight of 3.88. Um, or if I wanted to be technical about this, th these would be measurements, and I would round that to 4 grams. Okay, so the, the average or the weighted average for my uh, weight of the marbles is four grams, all right? Um, but uh, all I needed for that was just how many of each size that, uh, that I had. I didn't have to individually weigh each and every marble. I just needed to know, okay, I have 45 of the five gram marbles, 25 of the three gram, 15 of the 2 gram, and these are the weights for each of those, the mathematical weights for each of those uh, physical weights, okay? So, um, so that's all the, that a weighted average is. Now in chemistry, we do this same thing uh, for the elements on the periodic table. It turns out that each element, or at least most of the elements, um, have different atoms, they're, they're composed of different atoms that each have a different weight, okay, okay, a different physical weight, all right.